We're gonna have so much fun. Emotional, I would feel a lot of regret. Lesson learned. I love you all very, very, very much. Do it again, Emily. Please do it. Hello and welcome to another studio vlog. So I am currently in Blair Gowrie. <laughs> I'm at my in-law's house because we travelled here last night through the snow and um, because we are going to travel to Manchester today. So that's where I'm going to take you with me today and tomorrow we are going to the eHearts meetup which is very exciting and something very different. So come on, let's go to Manchester together. lovely people of YouTube. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the vlog. Just here to say hi, because I'm here too. Not for long! Bye! So we are finally in Manchester. I am looking a little bit bedraggled. It's been a long, it's been a long drive. Um, yeah, but we're here. I wasn't prepared for how emotional I would feel on the drive. My grandparents used to live in Bolton, and so as I was driving along, I saw lots of the landmarks and signposts to places like Botany Bay, Lastrop Village, which was literally in the village that my grandparents um, used to live. Um, yeah, so I have to say I was feeling a little bit emotional. I did kind of get a bit quiet and tearful for a moment, which I really wasn't expecting, but I haven't been down that road for such a long time. And actually, Botany Bay, I was telling Kezia um, that that is where I bought my first ever stamp as a child. It was like a little um, little stamp with piglet and a little love heart and I bought a, bought a blue ink pad. <laughs> Who knew where that would lead? <laughs> and the fact that I'm doing that for work now. So yeah, we're here. We're going to settle down cosy and I will see you guys tomorrow when we will go to the eHearts meetup. And I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the family have come with me. Basically, I bribed my husband to come with a trip to the Trafford Centre because I didn't really fancy doing the train. I would have done it, but I was kind of like, it's on school holidays. So you guys are going into Manchester tomorrow, aren't you? You and Daddy are going into Manchester. And then on Saturday, we're going to Trafford Centre. But for now, we're going to settle down cosy and I will see you tomorrow at the eHearts meetup. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are just about to leave. At this point, I actually am feeling nervous sighted. I'm really excited, I feel a bit nervous. I feel a bit butterflies in my stomach. Do you know what it is? I was really, really excited. And then I've been checking everybody's stories on Instagram and everyone's like so excited about going and they're saying, we can't wait to meet all these people that we've known for years. And I've been part of the Emily Harvey Arts Patreon since maybe about April last year so about a year and I've not been able to jump on all the zoom calls that she does because the time doesn't really suit so I tend to watch them on catch up and um, the time that I was there ready to do the accountability call it was the day that I got that phone call from the doctors you're like you need to take your daughter up to the surgery now Um, yeah so I feel like I haven't got as involved in the community as many of the people that are there so I feel like everybody knows each other and I don't so that's making me feel a bit nervous, but I think that's just in my head because actually as a community, they're very welcoming and it will all be fine. But it's also taught me a valuable lesson. I feel like I know all of these people because I follow them on social media, I watch their vlogs and everything, but 
because of time constraints, I haven't um, interacted with them. I, I haven't engaged, haven't made comments and stuff, although I've liked and things. So they don't know me from Adam. So lesson learned <laughs> now with the creators that I really love and these people that I really love, I'm absolutely going to be getting far more involved in their channels because right now I'm really regretting the fact that I haven't done that. But anyway, we're going to have a fun day regardless. As I said, I'm going to be there really early because Alistair and Kezi are going to head to Manchester and actually the park and ride that they need to, to use to get into Manchester is literally outside the hotel. So that's where we're going now and I'll see you there. It's going to be ace. We're going to have so much fun. It will be ace. Let's, let's just go. the most amazing event I had the best time all those nerves that I had weren't warranted when we arrived I saw a group of people sat and I sat and got myself a Starbucks cup of tea and I'm sat on this little table by myself and I'm looking over and I'm looking over and I'm like I'm sure they're part of the event so I went over and went hi are you here for eHearts and they were like, yeah. And I was like, do you mind if I sit with you? And they're like, yeah, yeah, of course, come on. And within minutes, we were all just yabbering away, having the most amazing time. Yeah, so my nerves about, you know, not knowing everybody, they disappeared instantly. It was the best time. Emily is the most beautiful person and she's built an amazing community and she really cares about everybody that was there. It was such a good time. I really, really hope she does it again next year. Because if she does, I will be first online to put my name, <laughs> my name on it. I will also link to her channel and to her Patreon um, below so that you can learn more about it. But whilst we were there, we did get a goodie bag. I have since put my name tag on it and we had to say whether we were a hugger or not a hugger. <laughs> so I've just popped that on there. But I thought I would unbox this with you so you can see the goodies that we got. Now, of course, it's all on brand. 
And that's in lilac tissue. Let's have a look, see what we've got. So we've got a lovely sticker. So this is part of community and honestly that's what it was like it was such a good day there will be loads of vlogs um so if you put in emily harvey art there was quite a lot of us filming actually i didn't feel too self-conscious filming because there were so many of us doing it so it was quite a good practice and sort of filming while you're out and about so we've got that gorgeous sticker and then we have a little notepad that says eHearts Meetup. So that's been designed by Emily and you know done um, for the event. So that can sit on my desk and write my to-do list for today on it. Okay. Oh, I love this. Like this might go on the wall. Actually, Emily has talked about getting this design on some clothing. I would love it on a hoodie. Um, so yeah, we have this little postcard. It's just gorgeous. Um, and then we have an information sheet. I will lose this because my daughter being the biggest Swifty, I actually bought her um, Kezia some of the Swifty um, fan art. So um, this will end up getting framed, but there's a little bit of information about Emily on the background there. Okay, we also have, so this is from um, Little Pickles Cakes. So she made one. Unfortunately, it does have milk and meat in it. So Kezia will end up getting that. But gorgeous cookies. Check those out. Fabulous. So we got that. Ooh. And then we have a lovely little key ring. I know this was also made by one of the eHeart members. I will find out who and pop it on the <coughs> in the description box. Right, so, and then we have a little bookmark that has eHearts 2024, and I'm pretty sure this was done by Catherine. So that's all the goodies that were there. When we arrived, we had this put on our table. So this is what you did. You'll have seen some of this. So we had the calligraphy, we had bingo and a raffle. So that was the event, and there was also food. It was just, it was really lovely to meet a lot of like-minded people. And then we have Kelly's Creations. She made us all a little, um, a little eHearts book. So cute. With a uh, post-it, post-it notes in it. So that was all the goodies. Honestly, it was the best week. It, it was so good. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm going to be buzzing. The only thing I regret is I was so focused on making a vlog that I've taken lots of video um, long form like this and I didn't take any photos. So I don't really have any photos for Instagram and stuff like that. I only have a couple. So I do regret that. So next year, please do it again, Emily. Please do it. Next year, I'll have to take photographs too. But that is me for this particular vlog. And I will see you in the next one where we will be trying to manage to do some work at the same time as balancing school holidays. So that should be fun. So join me for that one. Take care. See you again.